Welcome to Woodrose International School. Hello, grade 2 students. Our topic for today is about block graph. And this is Teacher Mimi. What is a block graph? A block graph is also known as block diagram, a simple way to present data. Take a look on these block diagrams. Each square or each block represents an amount of an item. Example, the grade 2 students were asked about their favorite color. And the colors that were asked are yellow, red, green, purple, blue, and orange. There is only one student who likes yellow. There are five students who like red. There are five students who like green. No students or none of the students like purple. There are three students who like blue and there are two students who like orange. Now we are going to present this data, this table in a block diagram. To present this data in a block diagram, we are going to write the type of each object at the bottom of the graph and what are the objects they are the colors color yellow red green purple blue and orange the next thing you're going to write on the graph are the number of each object and we are going to write alongside take note on the results that the least number is 0 and the highest number is 5 so we are going to start from 0 0 from 0 until 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 now it's time for you to color each square or each block. Take note that each square in block diagram is always worth one item. So the number of students that like yellow is one. So we are going to color one block or one square only. There are five students who like red. So we are going to color five blocks or five squares. One, two, three, four, and five. There are also five students who like green. So we are going to color five squares or five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. No students like purple. That means we are going to color any of these blocks next three students like blue color so we are going to color three blocks one two three two students like orange that means we will color two blocks one and two So this block diagram shows the number of students that like each color. So in yellow, there's only one student who likes yellow or who likes yellow. There are five students who like red. There are five students who like green. No students like purple. Three students like blue and two students like orange 
Now let's answer the following questions based from the block graph. Number one, how many different colors were asked? You're right, there are six colors. What are the six colors? The six colors are yellow, red, green, purple, blue, and orange. Next question, how many students like blue color? That's right. There are three students who like blue color. Let's count. One, two, three. Next question. What are the most popular colors? That's correct. The most popular colors are red and green colors. Why red and green colors? Because there are the same number of students who like red and green. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five students who like red. And in green, one, two, three, four, five. There are also five students who like green. How many students are there in all? How can we determine the number of students that were asked? You can determine the number of students that were asked in the data by counting the number of colored squares. Now let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 students that were asked about their favorite color. Last example, let us read and analyze the block graph, then answer the questions. This is Azul data. What are the animals that are in the zoo data? The animals are penguin, lion, snake, giraffe, and monkey. First question, how many penguins are there in the zoo? You have to remember that each block always worth one item. So how many penguins are there in the zoo? Let's count the number of blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 colored blocks. So therefore, there are 8 penguins in the zoo. Number 2 question. How many lions are there in the zoo? To easily determine the number of lions that are in the zoo, you have to check on the number alongside the last colored block and that number is 10. This means that the, there are 10 blocks. So therefore, there are 10 lions. Number three, how many monkeys are there in the zoo? Again, check the number that is alongside the last block and that number is seven. That means that there are seven monkeys. Next question. Which of the animals has the most number? To know the animal that has the most number is to see the highest number of blocks or the tallest block. And that is a snake. Alongside, the last colored block is number 15. So therefore, there are 15 snakes and this is the most number animal. Next question, which of the animals has the least number? To know the least number, you have to check on the smallest or the shortest block. 
and that is giraffe. Giraffe is the least number of animal because there are only four giraffes. Alongside the last colored block is number four. This means there are four giraffe. To sum up, the most number of animal is a snake because it has the tallest block. The least number of animal is giraffe because it has the shortest block. And to know the number of animals is to count the number of colored blocks. Or you can also check on the number alongside the last colored block. That ends for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Woodrow's International School Africa. Goodbye.